Thai kids wait for something once a year, and this something is the science and technology fair of each year. It's something exciting. It's something huge. It's something uh, very spectacular for them. Motthahan Tepa. It's a special kind of ant from Yunnan, China. You you can find many stations uh, that are futuristic. Version 4.0, of course. Sadika, welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotasmut. The Ministry of Science and Technology is set to host Thailand's enormous National Science and Technology Fair 2016 this month, aiming to attract 1.2 million people. Exhibitions on technology and innovations will be held to share knowledge with visitors and scientists, as well as to inspire young Thais to see the importance of science and technology and encourage them to think scientifically and to learn how to use and manage technology wisely. What are the objectives of this fair and what kind of exhibitions and activities to be shown or inspire visitors this year? Our guest for Thailand today is Dr. Pichet Durongkawe Road, Minister of Science and Technology, who will highlight the importance features of the National Science and Technology Fair 2016. We are honored to welcome Dr. Pichet Durong Kawe Road, Ministry of Science and Technology. Thank you for being here once again. You're welcome. Thank you. Pleasure. Well, we are going to talk about the National Science and Technology Fair 2016. But before that, uh, we would like you to know a little bit on the, on the Ministry of Science and Technology uh, responsibility, apart from uh, promotion and supporting of science in Thailand, in the country. Well, as you know, uh, things have changed uh, very quickly during the past mm. decade, yeah. not only in Thailand, but globally. Yes. And we see the rise of uh, or emergence of uh, the role of science and technology mm. and innovation mm. Mm. in national development, yeah. uh, maybe economic development, social mm. development, mm. or even mm. the environment uh, mm. aspect. Mm. Uh, and today, in Thailand, for the past two years, we mm. have done uh, relatively a lot mm. uh, compared with the past okay. in bringing forward uh, science and technology uh, to the public mm. uh, in terms mm. of uh, research for commercialization, mm. uh, in terms of uh, 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 tac tackle the climate change issue mm. Mm. with technology, mm -hmm. or even in terms of STEM education in, in, in uh, bringing yeah. up the level of mm. uh, knowledge and expertise, mm. not only for students, but mm. also for the workforce as, as well. Okay. And last but not least, uh -huh. very lately, we mm. have been doing a lot of work in startup, mm. uh, bringing Startups, the young yeah. generation yeah, yeah, yeah. into creativity uh -huh. and into commercialization. Uh -huh. And this is, has been very exciting. Yeah. And we, we, we have come to realize mm -hmm. that there are a lot of things going on mm -hmm. in the public. Mm -hmm. And now the government is facilitating them mm -hmm. uh, and make sure that uh, there's opportunities, not only in Bangkok, mm -hmm. but also in the, other regions mm -hmm. of the country. Mm -hmm. And certainly, last but not least, this is a time to inspire our kids, our children, in order to understand and in order to get into mm -hmm. science, technology, and innovation mm -hmm. for, for the bright future yeah. of their career. Mm -hmm. Well, to, uh, you know mm -hmm. more or less about the science and technology uh, uh, um, ministry already, but uh, so we could have some enormous uh, happenings in Thailand. So what are the objectives of the fair that we're going to arrange and what kind of exhibitions and activities to be shown or inspire visitors this year. So tell us about the background of the National Science and Technology 2000 Fair 2016. Well, uh, every day uh, in any year, we already have existing uh, science museums mm -hmm. here and there. Yeah. Okay, they are permanent. Yes. However, uh, Thai kids mm. wait for something mm. once a year. 
Mm. And this something is the science and technology mm. fair mm -hmm. of each year. Mm -hmm. It's something exciting, something huge, yeah. it's something uh -huh. uh, very spectacular for them. Uh -huh. And it's all hands-on, mm. okay? Uh, this year is no different. Uh, I think uh, for the past 30-something uh, years, we have been doing this once a year. Uh, uh, 30 years ago, it started off by uh, Science Week Fair. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, and, and that is, uh, was to commemorate, uh, as, as you know, in Thailand, it has been recognized by, by the society, by the mm -hmm. government, mm -hmm. that on the 18th of mm -hmm. August every year, August, okay. which is, by the way, tomorrow, well, tomorrow yes. <laughs> is, yeah. is, is being uh, announced uh, formally mm -hmm. as uh, Science Day, mm -hmm. National Science National Day, Science is, yes. uh, to commemorate mm -hmm. uh, uh, King Rama the mm Fourth, -hmm. who in Thailand is considered uh, father of science, okay, and uh, uh, solar eclipse, as we have learned, mm -hmm. uh, 100, almost 150 years ago, mm -hmm. His Majesty King Rama, King Mongkut, King Mongkut uh, yeah. did uh, a lot of calculations and yes, uh, then the went to Wagor, to Wagor, yes. Prajop mm -hmm. Kirikan mm -hmm. province mm -hmm. with uh, a lot of uh, foreign dignitaries. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, the, at that moment, the mm -hmm. time that calculated, there, there went uh, solar mm -hmm. eclipse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a commemoration. So uh, Science and Technology Fair uh, intention is to educate our young ones mm. uh, to, to enjoy science, mm -hmm. to enjoy technology, mm -hmm. and now to enjoy innovation. innovation yes. And uh, mm. there are a lot of exciting activities yeah. within the fair. Uh, well, I use this word enormous. So how many do you expect to turn up? Statistically, uh, over the past five to 10 years, believe it or not, mm -hmm. each year we have attendance no less than one million. Okay. One million. Wow. Yes, yes. And this is, is this is how much interest our yeah. young kids have yeah. uh, in science and technology yes. and it's something that we need uh. to provide opportunities uh, for them to uh, to, to yeah. have a, a hand on touch yes, on yes, to the touch same. the things. Mm, yeah. And this is a discovery kind of event. Mm -hmm. It's not something that will they will come and take notes. Uh, they'll come and they'll come play and with the things. Yeah. So uh, that <coughs> means uh, accommodation or location for timing and all that would be would be very, what do you call, the time would be spared so much. Well, but each one will spend the whole day. For, day for, for this year, we, we hold the event mm -hmm. for 11 straight days. Okay. So from the 18th to 28th of August, uh -huh. uh, it will be held uh, at uh, Mueng Thong Thani. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, free of charge, of course. All right. Okay. okay. And uh, mm. I, I think uh, there are many stations of mm. exhibitions mm -hmm. and uh, hands-on experiences mm. uh, that uh, students can pick and choose uh, mm. what what type of science mm. they prefer, okay. and uh, fill with uh, a lot of uh, activities. Uh -huh. Uh, and some of which uh, they can enjoy even going into uh, uh, laboratories, okay. you know, doing something, mm. and then the, the product of what they do, uh -huh. they can bring home mm. even. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. yes. And what age? When you talk about children, so there is about from five to, uh, from two to... I, I would say any age. Any age. I, even you can go. <laughs> okay, that's I, I'm serious because uh, we, we, we find that uh, uh, every year mm -hmm. there will be a lot of uh, school kids mm -hmm. going in groups, you know, chaperoned by mm -hmm. their teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, parents would uh, carpool and uh -huh. bring their kids together. Okay. Uh, so so this, this has been going on and mm -hmm. I think uh, any age will do, mm -hmm. especially for kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a Thai word called plan. Play plus learn. Play plus learn is yes. learn. Uh, so uh, do not miss such an opportunity because, uh, and also, but still you need to know what is a highlight. Uh, uh, quite, quite a number of them. So okay. let, let me give you some examples. Yes, please do. Yes. Uh, as you know, the government's vision at the mm -hmm. moment is mm -hmm. uh, toward Thailand 4.0. Thailand 4.0. 4 ah, right? uh -huh. So uh, uh, kids can also learn uh, what's the One idea behind uh -huh. 4.0 uh -huh. uh, with regard to science and technology. Mm. So they will go in 
and they will be able to experience uh, uh, future automotives, for example. Now we are talking mm -hmm. about uh, internal combustion engine yes. and so on. But in the near future, we're going to uh, have, well, at the moment, speed. we are using hybrid already. Okay. The yes. mixture between uh, the internal combustion engine yes. and the uh, electric part, yeah, right? Yes. It's a combination. A com That's yeah. why it's hybrid. Mm. But in the not so long future, it's going to be the full electrification of vehicles, mm. uh, electric yeah, cars. Is that available? It's available yeah, now, uh, uh, but I mean, in terms I mean, of in mass market, yes. it will come uh, uh, sooner or later. Mm -hmm. uh, even now, we are now talking about hydrogen fuel mm -hmm. car, mm -hmm. the so-called fuel cell yeah. automobiles, okay. uh, which is also into th into the future. Mm -hmm. So kids can come in and experience all these uh, new highlights. Well done. There'll be also mm -hmm. digital medicine, okay. for instance. Uh -huh. what is uh, we will uh, bring uh, some of the goodies uh, that would uh, be involved in our everyday life, especially for the aging society. Really? Uh, really? This morning, uh, we have presented to the Prime Minister yeah. a robot that would help in the situation where the care needs need to be taken for old people, uh, bedridden patients. Uh, Carry them? Uh, no, it, it's a robot where it has uh, installed uh, inside uh, mm. cameras, sensors, oh, even okay. infrared. Surveillance like. Yes, mm. even at night uh, they can be watched. Oh. The patients or oh. the old people can be watched. Oh. Something happened, for oh. example, they haven't been moving for too many hours, oh. then there'll be signals sent to their kids oh. in mobile phones or whatever. Okay, uh, something okay. like that or oh. you know something that uh, if they need help, you mm -hmm. know, there'll be sensors that, you know, they do it's something lovely, and then the that's help lovely. can come mm -hmm. in, assistance can mm -hmm. come in. Uh, that's, that's in mm -hmm. the near future also. Mm -hmm. We also have, uh, let's say, uh, climate change and yeah. biodiversity experiences. Okay. Uh, and I think it's something that the kids would very much enjoy because uh -huh. we are going to have a four dimension or uh -huh. 4D theater. Uh -huh. oh. 4D theater uh, on climate change. Uh, <laughs> the name, the name of the movie would be the last day. It the sounds, last it sounds it frightening, sounds like isn't it? <laughs> but this is climate change, oh, okay. and we need to educate our young people uh, the effect or impact of man-made pollutions, mm. you know, greenhouse gas and mm. so on, mm. uh, that uh, human being would have to live with. Uh, so Don't to understand it now mm. is very crucial, and the last day is is a, is a 4D movie mm. uh, that uh, would not only uh, a learning experience but mm. also very entertaining. Mm. I, I cannot tell you what the last dimension is because I haven't been told <laughs> yet. <laughs> so okay. kids would have to experience uh, themselves. Uh, uh, but when you said about one million or 1.2 million expectation. Uh, don't you think that uh, the traffic and all the arrangement, the infra well, of all the places would be well, like? Well, uh, in, in, in any station, we will take this opportunity ah. to, to educate the kids Very good. of patience, mm, of queuing, the, the tiny of queuing, the tiny right? <laughs> uh, and for mm. those who come in bus loads, mm -hmm. we will certainly uh, assist them mm -hmm. in whatever they can. Mm -hmm. They can mm -hmm. call us mm -hmm. in advance. Mm -hmm. There are four numbers that they can call mm -hmm. and then we, we can accommodate uh, or help them mm -hmm. logistically. Mm -hmm. Since we have the <coughs> Minister of Science and Technology here, so you were talking about the severance uh, camera and all that. It can be, so, uh, is it selling or anybody can, can acquire it and can buy it if at all? Is anything available for sale or something? In, and in the camera or something in, in that uh, robot that you said you talk about. Well, we it's just for showing, just just for yeah. We we don't intend to to do no business, no, no, no business uh, in in mm. the event, but uh, I think it's important that uh, we make this occasion in order to inspire our mm. kids. This mm. this is mm. the supreme okay, is, mm. objective mm. of of mm. the mm. event. And of course, such a huge and enormous again that I'm using because I heard from you that you've been doing so well and, and so much. So how many agency or organizations uh, participating in this year? In total, about 100. 100? Yes, uh, both uh, domestically and even our foreign friends. Oh. About 8 to 10 countries would join us okay. with their goodies. 
you know. Oh, they bring uh, along. Uh, yes, with them. they'll bring along with them. Uh, for example, Japan would highlight uh, their scientific capability in space adventure. Wow. Okay, so so uh, the United States would come with uh, experience of digital. Uh, technology, ah. which we know ah. that they are very good, very given good. the Silicon Valley and so on. Ah. Uh, so, so there are a number of things that uh, we we look forward to to entertain mm. our kids, mm. and at the same time, in Thailand itself, we have uh, uh, at least uh, about ten ministries joining us: mm. uh, Ministry of uh, Natural Resource mm. and Environment would Thailand. come with greenhouse gas. Ah. Uh, Ministry of Energy would come would come with uh, ener renewable energy okay. experience. Uh -huh. uh, Ministry of uh, uh, health, health uh, would come uh -huh. would come with uh, the future of health. You know, mm. so it, it's something that uh, would fit into uh, not only the present time, mm. but the future of Thailand, mm. and that's why Thailand 4.0 mm. is something that we are working on. Mm. So this is uh, some kind of I have to think about for the rest of people also like investors. It is like this is a channel for them to do some investment into certain fields. Well, they, of us. they 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 can come and take a look at mm. uh, at the prospect and the opportunities, mm. uh, even at the level of making toys. Mm. Oh. Is is something that is mm. an industry by itself, okay. you know, yeah. uh, especially toys that. Uh, uh, would generate uh, curiosity and uh, mm. and uh, experiments. You know, mm. uh, we 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 have a number of things that uh, even for young kids, how we can make things like Lego Lego logo. Mm. Uh, Lego in, the yeah, yeah the for for smaller kids. Ah. Uh, and in that case, you need a bigger Lego logo, ah. right? So ah. that they can, they can assemble. Ah. You know, they mm. may want to assemble a house, mm. you know, a canal, a canal. you know, and mm. so on. Uh, we also have a, a, a three species of insects to show them. And these, uh, we, uh, the, the, uh, Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri has graciously uh, named all these three insects for us. Oh, really? Let me just briefly say, okay, okay. the first one is ant. <laughs> ant. And, and the, name, the name in Thai is Mottahan uh Thepa. -huh. It's a special kind of ant from okay. Yunnan, China. It's alive. Uh, it's not so alive in, in the event, but elsewhere you can find, uh -huh. especially if you make a trip to Yunnan okay. uh, in China. Right. A rare species, but it has but special characteristics. For example, uh -huh. uh, they usually live together, you know. In the in, bunch. In, 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 in a big bunch. In a, uh -huh. uh, we are talking about a million per bunch. Oh, a, a million ants per yes. bunch in, norm, in, in their normal habitat. Okay. And uh, among this million, uh -huh. there's only one queen. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just, if just like uh, the bees. <coughs> yeah. Uh, if, if the queen dies, the, queen die, yes. the whole thing die? disappear. Disappear? <laughs> right? Second so is uh, grasshopper. <coughs> okay. In Thai, uh, yeah, the, the, uh. the name is Takatan Kuha Rat. <laughs> and, 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 and this grasshopper uh, 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 has been found in Thailand uh -huh. in Nakhon Raja Sima okay. uh, forest called Sakerat Forest. Mm -hmm. And uh, assistant researcher in mm -hmm. the Ministry of Science and Technology mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. National Science Museum mm -hmm. found it and analyze it and found that it's a rare species, mm -hmm. you know, and he, it has been recognized. Interesting. Right? Yeah. Uh, and the third yeah. is butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly yes. is being found in the south at Naratiwat province. Mm. Special and butterfly, not ordinary. Very small, but beautiful. Oh, wow. And wow. we have not been able to find a second one yet. Mm. So it's the only one. Oh, very wow. difficult to find. Oh. These uh, uh, what you call insects that you talk about, doing something good for the environment. Biodiversity. Biodiversity. Yes. This brought into that's the key, and we want to educate mm. our kids. What what does it mean mm. biodiversity mm. and how these uh, insects or animals mm -hmm. uh, coexist yep. uh, with the nature? Oh, that's very interesting. I heard that become people saying that this kind this time people will be like about not only really one million, it will be one point two. 
Well, the oh, more the more the better. The more the better, but, but uh, we are ready. We are ready, yeah. and and that's yeah. why it, we extend it to eleven days, so that uh, mm. th there would not be disappointment. So, mm. so spread it out. Okay. Yeah, it will be very good. Mm -hmm. So this is how, that's how you said how many years that we have been doing this? Uh, is our like about thirty four years. Thirty four years, but every year it be increasing more increasing and more. Increasing like and increasing. Yeah, the increasing yes. into the more of innovative, more of this thing. Uh, so very interesting that uh, one mustn't miss at all. So please recommend the highlight of the fair that visitors should not miss at all. Well, uh, you, you can find many stations uh, that are futuristic. Mm -hmm. uh, by futuristic, uh, if you take the case of Thailand, we mm -hmm. are talking about the future of Thailand, mm -hmm. version 4.0, of course. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. you see uh, new industries, mm -hmm. the so-called new S-curve, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, which also cover digital economy, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Internet of Things, okay? okay. Maker space, I think something that uh, students can enjoy. Mm -hmm. Going to the, the real life, labor new kind of laboratories mm -hmm. called Fab Lab. Mm -hmm. Fabrication, Fabrication laboratories. Ooh. And these will be equipped with uh, uh, new equipment, okay. modern equipment. Okay. For example, the 3D printers mm -hmm. uh, that students, uh, even small ones, can design by mm -hmm. their own on mm -hmm. the computers. Mm -hmm. Let's say, let's say this this setting. Okay. They can design on the computer uh -huh. and then click to make the 3D printer uh, create this setting. By itself, okay, without having to have uh, any other instruments wow. or equipment. Uh -huh. So it, it it's eye opening for mm -hmm. a lot of students that the connectivity be, mm -hmm. be between that creativity, and the computer, mm -hmm. and uh, the hardware machine that can produce wow. to to the order that mm -hmm. they have done on the computer, right. And uh, there will also be new uh, kind of laboratories called maker space. Mm -hmm. This fits to the young generation's startup system. Great. And there they can go in and then experiment on their venture of creativity. Frankly, when I listen to you, Mr. Minister, I really do hope a very bright future for our children. So again, because we need you to have just a minute, a half a minute to, 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 to convince, to invite the people to join. It. Well, uh, we, we, we have done a lot of work to prepare this event, mm -hmm. the so-called Science Technology Fair 2016 yes, sir. at uh, Mueang mm -hmm. Tong Thani, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 11 straight days to the 28th mm -hmm. of August. Mm -hmm. Everyone's invited, uh, young kids, small kids, older kids, uh, university students, parents, teachers, mm -hmm. and the public at large. Mm -hmm. Please come and join us to, to learn a number of new things and mm -hmm. to enjoy mm -hmm. and to have fun. Mm -hmm. And for young kids, come and do something and you probably can bring something home as well. It's free of charge, of course, and uh, mm -hmm. we hope that if you are able to come in groups, uh, please uh, call us, if I may. Mm -hmm. uh, this number, 02577. Yeah. Yes, Nine nine six zero. Once again, please. Zero two five seven seven nine nine six zero, and uh, the museum people will will help you assist you in in in, in groups, mm. so that you will be convenient uh, conveniently uh, come to join us. So this is a one of the best time for you to enjoy it and also to explore into the new world of Tha the Kingdom of Thailand. We are adding up by thank you so much to Dr. Prichet Durong Khawe Road, Minister of Science and Technology. Thank you so much sir, thank you. for being here. Thank you. Thailand today would like to say thank you very much to Dr. Prichet Durong Khawe Road, Minister of Science and Technology, who has guaranteed every visitor to the National Science and Technology Fair 2016 that there are something for everyone in every corner of the show. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yu Thasmut. Hope to see you again, same place, same time. Swadika.